How you guys doing? You good? Good to be here. Good to be back in Sydney. It's good to be back in Sydney till I started driving again. It's a bit of a nightmare driving in this city, isn't it? Just as soon as you leave the airport, just the clusterfuck of cars trying to get into the anus of the M5. It's terrible. <laughs> what about driving in the eastern suburbs? Yeah, that's fun. You're just driving along, then out of nowhere, oh, 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 look at this. Let's try to reverse park a manual four-wheel drive at a gradient of 90 degrees. Let's try to do that. <laughs> and uh, I'm actually from the south side of Sydney, so uh, every time I come out of the Harbour Tunnel, I always get really confused. There's like seven exits. You always miss your exit. Before you know it, you're in the Lane Cove Tunnel. You're like, fuck this, you end up in Blacktown, your car gets stolen, and you're on Struggle Street. That's Sydney driving for you right there, okay? <laughs> I bet half the people who live out west never even intended to live there. They just missed their exit on the M4. I'm like, fuck it, I'm not driving back. Yeah. These crazy road rules as well. I got fined $300 the other day for driving in a bus lane at 3 a.m. in the morning. What kind of a bus is on the road at that time? Didn't even get stopped by the police, got done by one of those hidden cameras, which is probably good because I was blind drunk at the time. <laughs> and honestly, who, who designed this city? Every other major city in the world, it's a logical grid of parallel and perpendicular roads. Whereas I'm pretty sure the person who designed Sydney was an epileptic. <laughs> they were just like, okay, we've got George Street, then we've got Pitt Street, and then... <laughs> Mom, actually, I'm from a suburb in Sydney called Brighton La Sands. Yeah, a few fans. Brighton La Sands is basically the, the poshest sounding suburb in Australia with the least posh people on the planet. So a common conversation you might overhear somewhere else in Sydney would be like, hey, Margaret, do you think we should invest in real estate or retail? Whereas a common conversation you'd overhear in Brighton, Los Angeles is like, Oi, Costa, do you think there's more protein in a beef kebab or a fucking lamb kebab, bro? <laughs> Brighton, Los Angeles is so backward, it still employs the feudal system. Because if you don't drive a V8, you're a fucking peasant, bro. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not a big fan of Australian TV at the moment. I feel like, I feel like Australian TV is just kind of like different variations of people bitching about each other. You know, like The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. It's just hot white people bitching about each other. Big Brother, that was hot white people bitching about each other in a house. Home and away, hot white people bitching about each other on the beach. <laughs> Australian survivor, hot white people bitching about each other in the jungle. If you do well on one of these shows, you can go on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, which is the exact same thing, except it's full of Australian celebrities. That's a paradox if ever I've heard one, Australian celebrity. Being a celebrity in Australia is like being the smartest person in Campbelltown. <laughs> Sorry, Joel. <laughs> Might be feeling a bit more refined. I want to watch commercial TV. You switch over to the ABC, watch a bit of Australian politics, but you soon realise that's the exact same thing as well. Except instead of hot white people bitching about each other, it's ugly white people bitching about each other. <laughs> Gogglebox, people bitching about hot white people bitching about each other. <laughs> Q&A, minorities bitching about white people bitching about each other. The project, one minority and some other white people bitching about other white people bitching about each other. Sky News, old white men bitching about minorities, bitching about white people bitching about each other. Daytime TV, middle-aged white women bitching about everything. That is Australian TV right there. Yeah. What have you got now? What, oh, married at first sight, oh my God. Don't get me started on this melanoma of a show, Jesus Christ. 
Married at first sight. So let me get this straight. Two people who have never met each other before decide to get married and shock horror, they end up hating each other and complaining all the time. That's not a TV show, that's called Being Indian. <laughs> you guys have been great. My name's Neil Kohatka. Thank you very much. <laughs>